Court School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Almost corn planting time here in uh, southern Manitoba, and we're joined here on realagriculture.com by Dieter Schwartz, market development agronomist with Pride Seeds. And Dieter, before uh, before growers hit the fields to put corn in the ground, uh, a number of things to, to keep in mind, especially when it comes to, uh, to settings on the planter. Absolutely. Well, it's very important uh, before you rush out to plant, and a lot of guys now are uh, hooked up and ready to go. Uh, we've had some excellent weather to... Uh, to do some work in the yard to uh, to get planters ready and today is another one of those great days 20 degrees and, and sunny and certainly there's a lot of uh, excitement a lot of anticipation about getting the crop in the ground um, but it's always good to take a little bit of time and uh, maybe reflect on years past uh, learn from our experience and also uh, take time to really prepare our planter um, I know uh, some people have gone through the exercise of checking their meters of uh, making sure that their meters are calibrated but the next thing that I want growers to really focus on is to look at uh, at that bag of seed as it comes into your yard or gets delivered and just double check the seed sizing and uh, make sure that even though you've already gone through the exercise of, of calibrating your meter that your meter and your planter is actually set up for the seed size that you're about to plant so for example with uh, with Pride Seed with our TrueFlex uh, seed sizing system. Uh, we have four different seed sizes. Uh, so small or value size, medium one, medium two, and large. And of course you can adjust your planter accordingly for that seed. Now the most common seed size and the most common planter setup of course is the medium seed size. Um, having said that there's certainly uh, unfortunately the corn plant produces uh, seed of all sizes and that is why the uh, the four sizes are available uh, there is also an advantage to a grower if he wants to uh, select uh, the small size uh, and potentially um, get a little extra value out of that seed um, pride seed uh, puts 90 to 100,000 seeds depending on smaller value size in that same bag for the same price as you would um, pay for medium or large size at 80,000 seeds a bag. So there's some potential savings there, the same potential yield, uh, the same genetic potential uh, in that small size. And when I say small, uh, and Kelvin will um, will zoom in on this a little later, they're not really uh, significantly different. However, your planter and your planter meter will definitely notice a difference. So with that said, um, I have here, a this is a precision planting disc. Uh, probably one of the more common ones uh, that is basically set up for uh, for medium seed. Um, this is your uh, standard John Deere uh, Pro Max 40 disc, um, and uh, this is probably your most common in these uh, in these new John Deere planters. Um, and uh, it's really important that uh, you adjust your singulator and adjust your air pressure if you have different size seed, or um, calibrate your your meters. Uh, if it's a precision plant meter um, to the seed size. Uh, there are of course other planters as well. I believe these are from uh, from a white planter uh, and once again two different uh, discs for two different seed sizes. So uh, I don't want to get into too much detail on that. All that to say is there are different plates available uh, for your planter. Uh, contact your dealer, contact your retailer or take the time. Uh, there's many specialists out there that will calibrate each individual meter for you. The cost being quite reasonable and uh, just like an annual soil, soil test or uh, other uh, annual maintenance that you do, I think it's a really valuable investment to spend that time, to spend that effort in making sure you have the right uh, planter set up for the seed. Rather find that out or rather look into that now than, uh, than find out when, uh, when you find skips in the row in the field. Absolutely. Um, as uh, as hybrid technology uh, is evolving, um, there are more and more hybrids on uh, what I would call the determinant ear platform, and uh, that has led to an increase in yield, an increase in, in, in plant health, um, but it's also meant that any mistakes that we make earlier in the season um, in terms of plant stand, the plant cannot compensate for that later in, in the season. So. Uh, if you end up with an 85% plant stand, you're not going to uh, see that uh, yield compensation effect 
that you may have been used from from the older hybrids. Um, it's very important to get it right uh, at the beginning. You only get one chance to do this right, so it's important to take time to adjust your planter.